that we live in this is keep it effing real show my name is people tiku i am your host and the founder and the creator of keep it effing real show i am live in columbia here where i believe the most high god live and why do i say that every single episode and again this is the 13th episode of keep it effing real show live in medellin columbia the weather here is beautiful it's spring like every single day here the food are natural the people here are just naturally happy they're beautiful we got gorgeous women here uh very nice beautiful guys here as well not to be on the homo side okay and there's a lot more peace out here now today's show is called the barry sanders mindset or the barry sanders effect whichever way you want to look at it the barry sanders mindset and you may ask why barry sanders well, Barry Sanders has always been one of my favorites. I'm not a, I'm not a football fan like a lot of guys are who do a diehard football season. Um, I'm a huge Barry Sanders fan for the things I'm going to talk about. And I'm sure you guys will all agree with why I say the Barry Sanders mindset. Now, Barry Sanders uh, stopped playing football uh, in 1999. And after that, that's the last time I watched a whole entire football game. OK, um, let me get into the whole topic of why you're here. Why the Barry Sanders my the Barry Sanders mindset. OK, July 27, 1999, Barry Sanders had uh, 15,269 rushing yards, which was about 1,457 yards shy from the great or I should say the great late Walter Payton, which many people know he is one of the greatest running back. OK. Walter played 13 season. Uh, Barry Sanders played 10, 10, 10 seasons, which means he still had two more years to break that record. So Barry was just shy of a thousand yards. Let's just not want to say a thousand yards. He was shy of one season to beat the all time Walter Payton season and just walked away from the whole entire game. Okay. On July 27, 1999, he faxed his retirement letter to his team. Uh, for those who don't know, Barry Sanders was number 20 playing for the Detroit Lions. Okay. And that was shocking to a lot of people. That was shock. That was shocked to, to me because I was a guy that every Sunday when they were playing, I was a, I, I lived in Minnesota. I was a Minnesota, you know, people thought I, I, I would love or cheer for the Minnesota, which wasn't that. Okay. I was a Detroit Lions fan only for the simple fact of that Barry Sanders, the way he played, how he juke, just the simple, he just lived a simple life. He didn't care about accolades. He didn't care about the trophies. He didn't care about numbers. All he cared about was performing for the fans. He was five foot eight. So he wasn't like a huge giant. He wasn't muscular. He wasn't like a lot of the running backs that you guys are used to. Okay, now the reason why I say the Barry Sanders mindset, he was then he never won a championship. Detroit Lions, during the time that Barry Sanders was playing, they never won a championship. Now you might say, well, how can somebody be great in the sports arena if they never win a championship? Well, you have to define what is a championship. What is the greatness? Let me tell you what I mean by greatness. Now, you don't have to be a superstar to be great. You don't have to become a multi-millionaire to be great. You don't have to be famous to be great. You just have to come in and perform. Do what you're supposed to do and accomplish 
those goals that you set for yourself. That's what makes you great. And also, a lot of people still talk about Barry Sanders. If you're in the, if you're 35 years old, 40 years older, in the 50s, you'll know about Barry Sanders. Now, if you're 19, your generation X, you may not, know, you may not know who he is. But those of us that are in the 40s and 50s, um, we know exactly who Barry Sanders was. Okay, every time he would play football, he was out there working, and he was juking around. You know what I mean? His moves, everything that he was doing was for the purpose of the football game, not to himself. He was a very selfless guy. He didn't care about himself. He didn't care. Like I said, he didn't care about the accolades. All right. All he wanted to do was play football. What I like about Barry as well, he wasn't a flashy guy. He didn't need to tell you that he arrived. People knew exactly who he was when he showed up. And he had a lot of respect. Okay? He still lived. I mean, this is what they say. He didn't go out there. When he when he got his contract, he didn't go out there and got a huge mansion. He didn't go out there and get uh, buy a bunch of fleet of cars, expensive cars. He didn't went out there and got iced up, Rolex, diamond watch, chain. He was a simple guy. They say he still live in the same house when he got into the NFL. Even years later, he still live in the same house. If you look back into a lot of his uh, his uh, history, they didn't talk about his lifestyle. It was just that he was just a good football player. Now, let's get into humble. He's also one of the most humble football players that I know currently right now. And let me tell you why. Every time... He would score a touchdown. He didn't get excited. He didn't do a crazy dance. He didn't spike the ball. He didn't run up to tag the fans up like a lot of football players do. Okay? And to me, that always bugged me. Whenever I see a football player score a touchdown, get excited, doing a backflip, doing a moonwalk, running and giving everybody a high five, you know, beating his chest like he's like he done something special. My mindset is the game is still playing. You have not won that game yet. You haven't won a championship. You haven't even won a Super Bowl. What are you getting excited about? Okay. Even a lot of my accomplishment, and I've accomplished a lot. When I've launched many different companies, I've made millions of dollars. And a lot of my close friends will say, Pete, why don't you get excited? I'm like, what for? There's still more to do. You got to ask yourself, why does billionaire still work? Why does Elon Musk still work? Why does Bill Gates still work? Why does Mark Zuckerberg still work? Why does the richest people who control 3%, I'm sorry, who control 97% of the income in all of the population, why do they still still you know, work? Because they are driven. All right. So I never get excited when football players score a touchdown in the middle of the game and they get excited. And then come to find out they lost the whole game. So what was that excitement for? It was pointless. Barry Sanders will score a touchdown. He will hand the ball back to the ref, get back to huddle. That's what life is all about, guys. Whenever you accomplish something, you have to get right back to work. Because your greatest success could be your downfall. Just because you got married and you're celebrating, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. But your accomplishment comes when 20 years later, 30 years later, when you're still married. There's a reason why I don't celebrate my birthdays. I've probably had maybe three celebrations, but that all came from girlfriends I was dating or... Whoever I was dating at that time just wanted to celebrate my birthday. I physically had never say, hey, fellas, I never made a post and say, I'm celebrating my birthday because I still have a life to live. I still have more to accomplish. I want my son, my kids to celebrate my success when I'm no longer on this earth. That's where the birthday celebration should, meet, should definitely come from. You got grown men having a birthday parties. 
You spend in thousands of dollars. At the end of the day, what did you gain out of that? Nothing, right? I'm not saying don't celebrate. I'm just saying, what are you accomplishing? Now, if you became a, a billionaire or a thousandaire or a millionaire, and you're feeding a bunch of kids, you're taking care of kids, you're doing something positive for the community, I believe you should be celebrated. But if you're just celebrating your existence of living, that's not impressive. All right? Because we are living. The goal is to celebrate your accomplishment. You want other people to celebrate your accomplishment, your birthday, not you. It's like you pat yourself in the back. This Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But what have you done? What makes you stand out out of everybody else? Okay. Now, that's why I love Barry Sanders. He was a selfless and a humble guy. Here's, let me give another example of why Barry Sanders was a humble player. One of his teammates approached him and said, Barry. Now, at that time, Barry, they were playing the Dolphins. Okay. Playing the Dolphins. One of his teammates and say, you have 10 more yards to go to win the rushing yard for the whole season, right? He was close. He only had 10 more yards. There was like two minutes left in the game. He could have easily accomplished that. But Barry sat out of the game and said, okay, really? That's all I needed? He sat out and he let, he let another teammate accomplish that actual goal. He was 10 yards away from accomplishing the total running yards for the whole entire season, but he just walked away. Just like he walked away from the game when he could have beat Walter Payton. Selfless. We care too much about accolades. We care too much about self. Me, 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 me. If it doesn't please me, I don't want to be involved in it. I look at the, the life of the Christ. Y'all call him Jesus. I call him Yahshua. Christ was washing his disciples' feet. He didn't say, I am almighty Christ, worship me. What was he doing? He was out there in the public, preaching, talking to the people, healing. He was going to them. He didn't sit somewhere and say, y'all come to me. Y'all worship me like, you know, the devil does. All right. Some of y'all, you're acting like Satan. You act like the devil that is inside you, that you are supposed to worship. And I see this all the time in Instagram. <laughs> Women posting their photos, you know, because they want all these likes, right? Because they don't get enough satisfaction that they're beautiful. So they need other people, <laughs> okay? They need other people to click like, to double tap. But then they're not happy inside. Everybody's great. Everybody's happy on Instagram and Facebook. But what is your life really like behind social media? That's what you need to work on. You should never wait on somebody to tell you you're great. All right? Because everybody's got problems. The goal is to work on your problems. That's why if you follow me on Instagram, I post positive information. Good, bad, I post it all. And I get some people who get mad at me about some of the posts because I speak the truth. Okay? Never wait on anybody to tell you you're great. Okay? People are going to tell you you're great by what you do. You shouldn't tell yourself you're great. People are going to tell you how good you are by what you put out. Right? Yeah. I got Luisa here, sit here with me. Okay. Now there's a reason why I have her sitting, sitting here. Cause some of y'all could say, you got a woman right next to you. You got a gorgeous woman right next to you. You got somebody right next to you, but you don't know the reason why she's definitely here. You may think, Oh, because I'm looking for, you know, prop because no, I'm, she is my validation. 
If I'm doing good, she'll let me know. If I'm doing bad, she'll let me know. All right? I'm here to retreat. Now, you might think I'm great at what I'm doing. But to me, I'm never satisfied. You can never be satisfied because there's always room to improve. There's always room to do more. There's somebody else who's making more money than you. There's somebody else who has accomplished more than you. Just because you got a Maserati, somebody has a Bentley. And somebody who has the Maserati or Bentley, somebody else is driving a Bugatti, which is a $2 million car. <laughs> okay? So somebody is out there outdoing you. But you have to be selfless. You have to be humble. We have to adapt the Barry Sanders mindset. When you accomplish something, move on to the next. Always being proven. Always feeding your mind. Always asking for ideas. Always asking for help. You don't have all the answers. You don't know it all. But if you claim that the day you claim you know it all, that's the day you will be defeated. Okay? Wise men always speak less and they listen more. A foolish person always talk more but no less. Okay? Be great. Why is Michael Jordan the greatest athletes in the world? To me, you guys might, might debate, but that's stupid. You might bring up Kobe Bryant or LeBron James. They're great players. But Michael Jordan, to me, is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. On court and off court. Why do I say, on, why do I say off court? Little kids are still talking about Michael Jordan. They don't know who he is, but they still ran his name, Brian. That's greatness. You have to become great when nobody's looking at you. When you think nobody's watching, somebody's watching you, right? So you have to be great in all areas. Michael Jordan once said, this is, a great, this, this is one of his great quotes that he actually said. He says, the reason why I'm successful is because I've missed more shots. I've taken more, I've taken more shots. Some of you thought, okay, maybe I'll take 3,000 3, shots. Michael Jones said, I've taken over 9,000 shots. That's why I'm successful. But we don't talk about his missed shots because he's done it so much. Another great quote that I like from Michael Jordan. He said, every off season, not, if he's not playing golf, he's practicing. Practicing every day. Practicing when nobody's looking. Then on game day, what I've been practicing becomes automatic. Right? When you practice every day, when it's time to really show up, it becomes automatic. But you don't, but if you don't put yourself in that position to be great, you're always going to lose. Don't ever validate yourself as great. Let others validate you. Let your kids. Let your children validate how great you are. Let your girlfriend or your wife validate how great you are. Because what you do behind the scenes is when nobody's looking, what, what you do behind the scenes will show what you do in public. Right? The Barry Sanders mindset. Just a humble guy. For those of you guys who don't know who he is, just, re just research him. You'll never find him wearing jewelry. And when they interview this guy, he's humble. They say, Barry, great. Barry Sanders, you're great. You're this and that. You make him move. He's like, oh, really? Okay. You know, you know, thank you. But he never said, yeah, thank you, man. You know, I'm the greatest. I'm the best of all. Yeah, you know, it was like, it was, it was God-given talent gift. But he's just very humble. He politely said, thank you. But there are others that are better than him. Right? So you don't need to be a millionaire to be great. You just have to be great at what you've been practicing when nobody is looking. Let others validate your greatness. Okay? Um, that is my time. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, message. So the last, the only three things I'm going to talk about here for the, before I'm done is be, is be great. Practice in greatness because as you come practice as you practice it they say practice makes what perfect that's not true practice makes permanent 
Practice makes permanent. Practice doesn't make you perfect. What you've been practicing makes you permanent. So you become perfect. If you watch Michael Jackson dancing, right? You'd be like, that's perfect. Doesn't make any errors. But if you watch his This Is It movie, right? He had a documentary. Yeah. This is it. Have you, have you actually seen it? Yeah. The behind the scenes. Wow. He's making errors. He's making a lot of mistakes, but he's there practicing, practicing, practicing. People say you can never be perfect. Whoever tells you you can never be perfect, they will never be perfect because we can all be perfect. Right? You guys heard that? Nobody's perfect. That's a bullshit lie. You can be perfect at what you're born to do because that's 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 what the most high God put in you. Right? When you look at Tiger Woods golfing, he's make a perfect shot. That's because the guy practiced every single fucking day. When you look at uh Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest boxers, right? If you ever watch him training, most of y'all can't do it. The guy say he runs five to 10 miles every day. And then he goes into the gym and box. Goes home, eat, come back into the gym. Eight to 10 hours a day. So when it comes to real fight night, it's a habit. It's easy for him. See what I'm saying? Because he's been practicing when nobody is looking. So now people are worse to say, oh, he's, he is the greatest. Okay. I'm going to do another segment on that too. The Floyd, Mayweather, the, the Floyd Mayweather mindset. Okay. So adapt the mindset of Barry Sanders. Be great. Be selfless. Be humble. That's what life's all about, guys. That's, that's what life is. Leave a good inheritance to your kids. This is my time. I'm your host, Pete Batiku. Thank you for watching this. Thank you to my co-host. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for uh, your time. And adapt the Barry Sanders mindset. And I promise you, greatness will be embedded in your life. Take care. Be blessed.